home tonight. You long got me. You've been lied. On the water, you can guide me. Today, I'm going to show you how to play fifths. <clears throat> and just uh, for the fifths, I wrote a song. So it's G, C, and D. And the way fifths are done, you're playing the first note and the fifth note in a scale in key. So if you're in G, your fifth note is going to be D. If you're playing in E, your fifth note would be B. If you're playing A, your fifth note's an E. If you're playing D, your fifth note's an A. C is G. And it pretty much works for all of them. The only time it would be different is, let's see, yeah. If you was playing B in a fifth, then it'd be F sharp. So it's not a whole note. Uh, because B and F are only one fret instead of two when you move. So it kind of throws a monkey wrench in it being real easy. Uh, but I'm going to show you this song. Like I said, I wrote it last night just for this. So we're starting in G. But I play in the G down here. Little river, take me home tonight. You alone can guide me to better life. Just lead me to somewhere I can stay. So like you can see, that's fifths. That's a fifth song. Most of your country beats are fifths. Some classic rock is in fifths. Um, but for the most part, it is country that plays the fifths. I love country beats, especially on bass. And I love fifth beats just because it fills the song in quite a bit. And you can play it by yourself and it sounds good. Thank you so much.